After Puerto Rico was devastated by a natural disaster, the media rushed to blame President Trump in a million different ways. It was a feeding frenzy, to the point where they were just making up stuff in an effort to be the first to bash him in a brand new way. Case in point, the New York Times columnist Paul Krugman. He took to Twitter to bash Trump for a cholera outbreak that has started in Puerto Rico, tweeting dramatically, cholera in a U.S. territory among U.S. citizens in the 21st century. Heck of a job, Trumpy. Trumpy, he actually calls him. This venerated columnist, this Nobel Prize winner. And he actually spelled heck of a all cutesy, too. The tweet was then retweeted more than 14,000 times. It garnered over 32,000 likes, even though he then tweeted six hours later the truth. Okay, cholera not confirmed. Conjunctivitis, yes, lack of clean water, situation worsening, not improving, makes it a risk, but not certain. And that tweet only got retweeted a measly 500 times, with only a little over 1,000 likes. And it was also poorly punctuated and looked to be tweeted in some sort of rush, or perhaps a flush, of embarrassments from having tweeted some very scary, very partisan, very mean-spirited and divisive fake news. Good job, Kruge. And some were quick to point out that even his correction, which didn't get passed around, was misleading. Because he maintains that Puerto Rico is still at risk for cholera, again making it sound very urgent and scary. But the CDC itself even tweeted on that same day that they don't anticipate cholera cases in Puerto Rico because of the hurricane. They also clarified that they don't expect to see it in the U.S. Virgin Islands either. PolitiFact reached out to Krugie to ask him where he got this idea that cholera was indeed being reported. And he said that he saw it in a tweet from Kurt Eichenwald a liberal commentator and contributor to Vanity Fair. Eichenwald had tweeted the day before, cases of cholera now being reported in Puerto Rico. I can't believe this is America. We're too incompetent or uncaring to get them water. That fake news tweet was retweeted more than 13,000 times. So it's a classic case of not a cholera outbreak, but a fake news outbreak caused not by dirty water, but by the dirty media rushing to bash the president. PolitiFact rated Krugie's claims as false, but I rate it as pretty despicable.